last three years, we've allowed players to bring their toys to life inside a video game. And this year, we're letting them take them out. We have brought toys to life. And now we're going to try to bring life to toys, where kids can literally pull characters from the game world into the real world. This year, that's exactly what we're going to do with our 2014 Skylanders game, which we're calling Skylanders Trapped. So this may look like any regular old crystal to you, but it's actually made of a very rare, very powerful, and very special material called Traptanium. And it's the only substance in all of Skylands that is capable of imprisoning the baddest of the bad guys. And as you saw in the trailer, kids will not only be able to trap the villains using Traptanium crystals, but they'll also be able to boom the bad guys back into Skylands and turn the bad guys into good guys to fight on your side. Chill Bill. Here comes Mr. Ice Guy! I think that, you know, for the last three years, we've been uh, allowing kids to bring toys to life. And this year, we're kind of reversing it. We're bringing life to your toys. These crystal traps, they appear to be sort of empty vessels. They're beautiful and cool in their own right. But, you know, you put that in the portal, and once you trap the villain inside, and you start to hear him talking to you, and the lights flash, and the, the, the sound moves from the, from the TV screen to the, to the portal, and it really starts to blur the lines between the digital and the physical worlds. And I think that um, reversing the magic, as we say, is, uh, is kind of the, the big idea this time around. I think the easiest thing for us to do would have been to keep making the same game and just adding new levels and new characters. Um, but ultimately, I think that we make kids say, wow, for a living. That's what we did with the first Skylanders game. It was a wow moment. You know, kids had never seen anything quite like that. And that's become our strategy. We want to do that each and every time. It's not enough to just add new characters and add a few new levels uh, and, and call that a new game. We want to continually find new innovations that delight kids and that make their eyes pop out of their heads. As in all Skylanders games, we have to make sure that each year we innovate and come up with something entirely new. Um, bringing monsters to life is awesome, but there has to be something pulling you in. And we have new collections of monsters. But what's different about Skylander's Trap Team is this idea that using traps and the new Traptanium portal, you can reach through the portal into Skylands and reversing the magic we've had before. Instead of putting a character into Skylands, you can grab a defeated enemy and pull them out and store them in one of these toy traps like a genie in a bottle. We are so excited about Skylanders uh, Trap Team. Uh, Skylanders launched originally in 2011. We were excited then. Three blockbusters later, and we are absolutely incredibly excited about the newest innovation we're seeing. We've had an incredible uh, relationship with Activision uh, since the original Skylanders launch. And during that time, we've really built an incredible, um, uh, built with Activision an incredible franchise really driving both the video game, the characters, and many other uh, licensed products around our store to be the true destination for Skylanders. I'll take it from here. 
Chill Bill in the mix. Super Magma Form. <laughs>